In this session on the Amersham Typhoon Control Software, we're now going to look at the option to do densitometry. When we click on here, it's important how you set the plate on top of the support brackets. So you'll see for doing optical density, it's going to say OD. And if we do the other method for digitization, then it's going to be the other way around where it says digitization on that support bracket. So let's talk about digitization first. So digitization is basically just capturing an image of either your Kamasi or silver stain gel. And you'll notice here that we have two different ways for doing the digitization. There's DigiB and DigiG. So DigiB is dig digitization for blue channel and digitization G is for the green channel. So for Kamasi gels, you'd use the Digi Green, and for the silver stain gels, we'd use Digi B. You need to choose the location of where the gel is on the platen. You're going to adjust this so you can move the area. If you've got multiple gels, you could do different ones. We'd recommend that you place towards the middle of the stage to do this operation. And you'll see here we have a number of different choices on the pixel size. Um, usually going to be the Kumasi gel. So if it was bigger than 10 by 10 centimeters, it'd be 100 microns. And if it was less than 10 by 10 centimeters, it'd be 50 microns. If you had anything that had really fine features, then you could go for the 10 or the 25. And if you're just doing a quick scouting or check-in, then you go to the 200 micron. So in this case, we're going to say it's less than 10 by 10 centimeters. And I'll choose 50 microns. If you look here, we've got Digi Blue, so this means we're going to be doing a silver stain gel. And there's really no need here to do a pre scan because we should have everything located and everything set. You can see here that the PMT is fixed, so you can't change that. So basically, we go ahead and scan our image. As it's scanning, you'll notice the two arrows are moving around. You're going to get an image displayed here. And on the right hand side here in this histogram distribution, we can see how all of the pixel intensities are being displayed. Right now it's a negative gray. This might look better doing the positive gray, so we can flip it to that. If you want to look at pixel intensities within the screen right now, you can look at the whole area and you can see it's out of the 100,000. So it's showing 89,513 is the biggest intensity. But we can also draw a box around a particular area and we can look at the intensity level within that part of the image. We can export the display or print a display. If we don't want to see this blue box here, we'll just go back to clicking on whole area. The export display and print will actually print or save whatever contrast you've adjusted here. But right now we do have the image saved on the computer and that will not be affected by whatever you do with the contrast right now. It is saved, but if you want to save it to a different destination, we can go to Save As, and then we can send it to our C drive or to a memory stick or to the network. We can give it a different file name, and you'll see here we have the one option to save it as a .tiff. The other way to work with densitometry, and go back, as we said, is to do optical density. So in optical density, the machine has been calibrated against a grayscale step tablet, so it can re report out an OD, which is actually a linear response. Again, we'd place our gel towards the middle. We would set up, now with the brackets in the other position, which say OD for optical density, and place our plate on top of those brackets. We need to choose our destination folder. So in this case, we'll go to the C drive. We'll give it a name. We only have one file format to save. You'll notice in this case, we only have one option for the pixel size. So it's saying 50 microns. So assuming you might have a gel smaller than 10 by 10 centimeters. The reason why you can't change this is if you started changing the pixel size, they'd have to recalibrate the machine. So just gonna leave this alone. And again, we're just gonna go ahead and scan. And as it's scanning, you'll see the two arrows chasing each other. going to see a live readout as the image is scanning. Once it's finished, you can see now that it's saying it's being displayed in optical density. We can change this to a positive gray. 
we have the option again to export or print or save as a different name. But that's really it.